Hi, this is George. You know how some people give content for free only during launches? Well, I used to be someone like that. What I mean is they would only give out free articles, free videos, free webinars when they're trying to sell you something. Uh, I did that for a couple years. And in fact, I used to teach that, right? To say, oh, well, you know, don't waste your time giving free stuff to people. People aren't going to appreciate it. People will, uh, you know, make you feel used. And, you know, you should only be giving free stuff when you're going to ask for something in return, like a sale. Um, I've changed my mind on that, and I'll tell you why. It's because when you, and I would say, if you're seeing a marketer just giving free content in order to try to make a sale, um, I would advise you to, to look elsewhere for help because um, a couple of reasons. One, they are not actually growing their skills as much as other people who are giving free content. Because what I've discovered after uh, two years of consistently giving free content is I have never grown in my knowledge and skills and ability to help people this fast. I mean, compared to the previous five years when I was only giving content when I was doing a launch, you know, oh, webinar series to, to, to launch a prog- coaching program or something like that, it, it actually blocked me from learning more because what happens when you give content when you publish it on social media especially is that you get feedback okay you get feedback about which pieces of content are really helpful and the ones that you don't get much likes are that's feedback that those things are aren't as helpful for people and the marketers and the teachers who aren't consistently sharing their content and getting feedback aren't growing as quickly and their skills might be kind of stunted they might be kind of kept in kept in time, you know, kind of like get stuck in time. So I really recommend that you learn when you're trying to learn from a from a teacher, a coach, a mentor, see if they consistently give content, especially on social media, so that they are really rapidly building their skills. And secondly, um, that also shows that when you when you continually give content for free, it actually builds your sense of generosity. Uh, I have never if you would ask the George Cow from five, seven years ago about my behavior today, I would have said, that's foolish, um, you know, I'm wasting my time. But I also was a lot less smart about marketing and about productivity because I wasn't teaching. You know, the, the old saying is so true. If you want to learn something, teach it. Okay? And teach it not just to your clients, but teach it to as many people as you can. I now see my content as in part public service that I do every day, Monday through Friday, and in part for my own learning and growth. And to get feed, and third reason is to get feedback to say, well, what, what pieces of content and how am I saying it is really helpful for people. So, uh, so the main point here I want to make is give content all throughout the year as a public service, as for your own growth, and to get feedback and not just during launches and learn from people who also do the same thing. So I hope that's helpful. Always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.